like to invite the Honorable Minister, Dr. Nabil Mohammed Ahmad, Minister for Higher Education and Research from Djibouti to come and uh, share his word. Honorable Ministers, distinguished representative, ladies and gentlemen, students, it's difficult you know, to speak at this, uh, this hour, but I will try to be as clear as possible because I'm Francophone at the origin. I would like really to thank uh, very much the organizers of this conference for the quality of the species, for the quality of receiving us in Rwanda. I would like also to thank very much all the Rwanda population for their kindness and for their friendness uh, toward us. Today, I have seen in a slide of Patrick Walsh uh, speaking about uh, all the constraints that has been mentioned by you or in the past. Please allow me to introduce between this slide and the solution one slide. I would like to start by, in this slide, I will make three or four points. The first one is hope. Hope in the future, please, because we have a very negative way of seeing our future in Africa. The first one is hope. Hope, because after the colonialism, today we have universities, we have intellectuals, we have professors, we have students, we have diaspora. This is, we have all the ingredients to succeed and to make sure that we'll achieve our objective in the future if there is a willing. The second point is vision and willing. The vision and commitment of our leaders. Really, I would like to congratulate the President Paul Kagame because he has shown to us yesterday, demonstrated to us yesterday by being with us that today our leaders are committed themselves to go with us hand in hand, with ministers, with professors, with universities, with students to succeed in the future. I would like also uh, to mention the third point in this slide. It is what oh, today globalization and new technologies help us to do. It make knowledge available everywhere and in the same time. I often say that students in Rwanda, in Djibouti, in Ethiopia, elsewhere in Africa, they are communicating with the same languages and using the same tools that students in Harvard or in Colombia. So if you have lost the agriculture revolution, if you have lost the industrial revolution, we have to succeed in the digital revolution and we have the capacity to do it. So what has to be done now? Someone said yesterday that we have to make revolution. Revolution sometimes is not very good. But I think that we have, first of all, to reform and then transform gradually. We have not today the means or the capacity to make revolution because revolution means that we have to change completely our way of doing our way of thinking. But we have to reform and transform gradually to succeed. I think that universities everywhere in the world have not seen that there is a disruption in the world, in the disruption in the way that the world has evolved, and particularly the need of industry and the need of people. It's why we have said today that our way of teaching is not relevant, is not in time with what we are living today. So dealing with quality, 
We have said that we have to create center of excellences, but you have not found. Each country of Africa don't need to have his own center of excellences. I think that we can create, for example, in Djibouti, a center of excellences for logistics and transport. In uh, Ethiopia, center of excellences in agriculture. In Rwanda, center of excellences for services and make a network that allow our students to go to this center of excellences and to have their certificate or their diploma. This is the way to be sure that we will be confident in our universities and in our center of excellences. I'm not agree with you when you are speaking about only creating center of excellences. We don't want to have ghettos in universities. We have also to strengthen the universities. Having center of excellences is something is good, but we have also to strengthen our universities. Now I'm coming to research. Opportunities that offer today climate change is very important in our country. The needs are in our country. We need water, we need energy, we clean energy, and so on. So the needs are in our, so how we can be innovative in order to respond to the need of our countries. I'm not telling that we have to completely cut ourselves from Occident. They have the technology, we need it. And I think that we have to we work because you are in the same world, to work hand in hand with Western country in order to be sure that the transfer of technology will be ensured and at the same time offer something that we can be sure that we will master this technology and go forward. Platform of research. We have in, let's say, less than one year, created a platform for research in resilience, research and in innovation. Please join this platform. For the moment you have, Ethiopia has joined us. Um, some Western, like Senegal, has also joined us. I really, I will appreciate very much if East Africa, other East Africa countries and universities can join us in this platform of thinking and in this network. Our universities has different level of success and different level of quality. So how can we strengthen each other by giving this success and this quality? The question is not to have all in one. You know, like this advertisement, they say two in one. We have spoken about economy. We have spoken about energy. We have spoken about quality. We have spoken about research. We, are, we will not put all this in a bottle, just mix this and have something good. But we have to go by prioritizing our needs. We have to work for a strong economy, Africa, that can support these challenges. And university has to work for that. I would like, just before finishing, that we will continue to offer scholarship to our brother universities. And we have already offered to Rwanda 12, uh, 12 scholarship all these 12 students, most of them, 10 of them, went to France. We have supported them after their master. And one of them get married in Djibouti and now he's working in Djibouti. This is the kind of thing that we, are, we have to do. Finally, I would like really to support and sincerely the initiative that has been initiated today and to think with you how we can call for action to succeed in the future. Thank you very much.